Oh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Say hi Jackson. Say hello to everyone. No traction Jackson in the house today. What's this Kong? Get your Kong. Get your Kong. Where's your Kong? That's it right there. That's your Kong. That's yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Well, today we're gonna say goodbye to the truck. Look, gotta unlock the door first before I can get in. You can drive the 17. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Hey, vlog. So Lauren's going to drive the 2017 because I need a ride back because I'm dropping the truck off for something that's much needed. Oh yes, we are in Amish country, and I guess I'm gonna tell you guys what we're doing with the truck today. I'm dropping it off at Pristine Auto Detailing, and we are gonna get this fully paint corrected, and we're gonna get it ceramic coated. The owner of Pristine Auto uh, came to me and met me at a show. He was also at the YouTube call out, and um, he wanted to hook me up and help me out with the truck. He noticed that uh, I take the truck to work all the time and it gets completely filthy and there's a ton of steel dust and and just metals that are constantly laying on the truck it's it's never clean if you guys notice in my videos if it is clean it's like it's like a miracle but um he thinks a ceramic coating would do wonders for this truck and just the concept and whole idea of it sounds awesome those of you guys that don't know about a ceramic coating um we're gonna learn here in a second that once i drop the truck off i'll let uh the owner Chad talk to you about it, kind of go through the steps, maybe very briefly the steps and process of the actual truck and how it's going to be done. The destination is on your left, Pristine Auto Detailing. So we have arrived at Pristine Auto Detailing and I'm going to pull my truck up here. He said to pull into, I believe, this bay over here and honk my horn. So we're going to do just that. Oh, didn't even have to honk. He heard me pulling up. On, What's man. up, man? How you doing? Did I come to the right place? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me how far you want me in here. Good. Keep coming. Is this the dirtiest truck you've ever seen? It's pretty, <laughs> pretty dirty. Oh, yeah. We good? Yep, yeah, that should be good. Yeah, you guys are in for a real treat, let me tell you. Get out the lights. <laughs> <laughs> don't, you don't even need to get out the lights. Trust me. <laughs> Chad, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice I, to meet I saw you get the call out. I remember you came up yeah, to me. Yeah, you were so busy. So I was, I know. I, I wanted to talk to you more, but it was just too no, too no. much. I, I talked to him for a little bit. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I showed him the big deal. Yeah. This? Yeah, this? No, not the big deal. The, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Well, so I don't even know if the viewers know about this big deal over here. Well, it may have happened. Quote, unquote, big deal. but I don't know how it yeah. happened, but it was in a parking lot. Yeah, some I of noticed just, it. Some of that's just scuffed yep. up. I think a lot of that will probably come out. Yeah. There's a lot of, uh, so I noticed the other day, there's so many rock trip chips on the front of this truck, it's like unreal. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, most of this is bugs, but like there's a there's a good amount. Do you have any factory red touch-up paint for this one? No, I don't. Not, maybe, not red hot. I have victory red for the other car. Maybe but. I'll check with the dealer and see if they have some. That way after we buff everything, maybe we can just touch it up. Touch it up. Yeah, that'd be cool. You're going to notice all that, all this gray stuff. I was telling people about this earlier before we got here. It's not just dirt. It's like steel dirt, dust and stuff from the steel mills. That's why it's gray like that. So the one time I took this truck to Chevy, to get my free complimentary oil change, you know, which you get when you buy a new Chevy. And I told him, don't wash the truck. It was essentially like dirty like this. Don't wash it, don't wash it. They washed it. Either they took it through their, their car wash or they had somebody go like this. And like, if you notice, 
down the side here, you can see all the oh, yeah, like the, the marks. Look at this. Look at all those white lines there. Yeah. And there's all the way out the back here. Yeah, it's not it. it's not as bad above. No, no, it's it's, it's all, all down right here. There. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yep. So they they did a number on that and a little bit of water spotting. Every truck that we get into, it's like this. <laughs> yeah. And the only way to really get this out is to buff it. It's buff the actual buff uh, the glass. Yeah. Yeah. Now, usually not with a rotary because uh, you don't want hot you you don't want holograms. Okay. Uh, and like swirls in the glass. Right. But you usually got to compound these windows out. Yeah. The last one we did, how long did you spend on it, Todd? On just the glass, yet yeah, six that, or that seven hours. Had, like really hard water spots in. Yeah, I had probably <laughs> yeah. six or seven at least into it. <laughs> oh. yeah, cool. Anything else? Uh, this is vinyl wrap here. Yeah, I actually did that myself. Good. Yeah, me and good. a friend did that. that Not too good. bad. It's starting to like kind of ripple around the handle and because like I notice some of the vinyl wrapping depending on what you get it will it like shrinks and expands depending on the weather right. you can actually see where it shrunk see the little line oh, yeah up wow. above there probably just get that off there I don't At know least this is like gloss black vinyl so we'll probably lightly buff you don't really want to buff vinyl but it has like scratches in it anyway we'll yeah see if some of that will come out when we buff it yeah it's not a huge deal and then we'll coat but... over it Put the coating right over the top. Oh, so you can coat over a... Yeah. But you can't put a wrap over the coating, right. correct? Yep. Yeah, yeah, so I was trying to tell people, maybe you want to explain more to what a ceramic coating is and does to a vehicle. Yeah, yeah. The biggest... There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that isn't true about ceramic coatings. Yeah. The main purpose of ceramic coatings uh, are to uh, make it easier to wash. It's right. Not, they're not scratch-proof. They're not bulletproof. Right. Uh, just makes it easier to wash. It's an actually like a permanent permanent like chemical bond to the clear coat okay uh, and with the Ken the IGL Kenzo that we're going to use on this is like a multi-layer uh, ceramic coating so we'll do a base coat which is the harder coating mm -hmm. uh, more of like scratch resistant it's not it's not scratch proof but it's the harder coating the 10 H in hardness right uh, and then we'll top coat it with the with the IGL Kenzo top coat, which is like the super hydrophobic, and real slick stuff that makes it easier to clean. Yeah, the water just like falls off of right. it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I'm sure you get a lot of iron deposits. In oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so yep. you'll still get that, but it'll stick to the coating. Uh, and then you can, I'm sure Troy's shown you before, uh, like the iron remover, the Gion iron remover. Okay. Lots of different brands. You just, as you're washing it, you spray it on and rinse it off. Okay. And pull any of them little iron, iron deposits off. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll, on this, uh, the process that we're going to do on this is a full, we'll do your interior first because we don't like them, like them to leave all clean on the outside, <laughs> dirty on the inside. Um, You'll have so fun with like, Jackson's dog hair because we just had him in the back seat. But, yeah, from the fall out. <laughs> yeah, he's... We'll, but, put an, we'll put Nate on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll get the interior done, clean underneath the hood real quick. Um, and then we'll come to the outside. We'll do a full wash, uh, decontaminate everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and then clay bar to the whole nine yards. Now I do have a treat for you guys. You were talking about the engine bay, about cleaning the engine bay. And how many miles do you think is on this truck without looking at the odometer? 24,000. Okay, it was, that was really high. <laughs> <laughs> about half that, 13,000. Now pop the hood and tell me how many miles you really think are on this truck. <laughs> 80,000? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, still 13,000 miles, but this is what happens when I drive my car in, in the steel mill. Honestly, so, this, isn't, this isn't awful. This is actually pretty clean for most of the trucks. We'll clean up under here. At least this is sealed up, um, so we don't have to bag that or anything. But we're still, when we detail this, we'll watch out for all the electrical components. Uh, it'll just be a light cleaning. You don't need to show show car finish on your engine no i don't no it would be nice for it to be clean though for yeah, sure yeah. I, it was always one of those things where it looked great when i first bought it and the more and more you drive it all this dust just yeah it just gets in there you know what i mean it, it's so dusty at work and if it's not dusty it's wet and then it just splashes up on everything so it's sort of like you can't win yeah. you drive it in there and it's just dirty you know yeah. but that's one of the reasons why when you were saying about a ceramic coating it's like well hell that's gonna be really easy because i can just spray the truck off right half the time you yeah, know what and i mean if, it, if it's this dirty like i tell customers you're still gonna have to two bucket hand wash, wash it yeah because uh, it's 
people, some people like when we first started applying ceramic coatings, customers come in, they see the marketing videos, they're like, all I got to do is pressure wash it off and never touch it. Yeah. Or go through a touchless automatic. And right. If it's really dirty, you still have to hand wash it. It, it gets off a lot of, a lot of the stuff, but it mm -hmm. can still leave a little bit of like a film on the coating. Yeah. I was telling Todd Saturday, I did a, we do free washes for all the coating jobs. Mm -hmm. And you know how the pollen's really bad right now. Yep. Uh, the car, that brand new Audi came in, uh, had pollen all over it, and we just kenzoed it like a month ago. Uh, and I went to wash it, the pre rinse it, and it didn't like beat up at all. I'm like, what's going on here? I was like, I just, I didn't touch it, I just rinsed yeah. it off. Uh, and then I took the wash mitt to it, and it was like, oh, yeah, it looked like I just coated it. So like the pollen just didn't, it didn't, even the pollen. 100% Still just rinse off. Wow. Todd will be the one buffing it. He'll do a two step buff on it. So a compound, then followed with a polish. Mm -hmm. uh, clean everything really good. We're going to do a wheels off. So we're going to pull your wheels off to coat the inside of the wheel. Uh, oh, you're going to do, you're going to ceramic coat the wheels too? Yeah, that's included okay. in all the packages. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. Might as well. Like, it's just, it's some, some guys will separate it in the packages, but. We like to just coat everything. Yeah. We'll coat your running boards, uh, all your exterior plastics, your wheels. As I say, it's not just a coating you can put on, uh, you know, finished paint. It right. you can put it on anything, correct? Yeah. Yep. Like yep. even interior stuff, like you could do. Yeah. Do you have leather or cloth in there? I have leather. Leather. Yeah. Yeah, they have a leather guard. It it works all right. Uh, yeah. But a good leather conditioner is always good. Right. Good just to treat it with leather conditioner. Right. I'll put maybe I'll try out some fabric card uh, on your carpet. Okay. You can try that out, see how you like it. How does that stuff work? Basically like Scotch Guard. Um, so like if you spill something, it just, up. it beads up and you just dab it and it comes yeah. right out. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. That'll be nice for Jackson. Yeah. Lauren. Does yeah. he pee in the car? No, he doesn't do that. <laughs> no, he's, no, he's good. He's good in that aspect, but like just getting in the, if he's what, like he, wet or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could ceramic coat our entire floor, all of our floors at home. Yeah, you guys got it'll some. Look, it'll look like a whole different truck. The biggest thing with this one isn't the scratches, it's the water spots. That on the windows and on, stuff? On or the, just on everything? On general. On okay. General. And what is that caused by just hard water that I have yeah, in my house? Hard, or? Do you have well water? No, we don't. No. City water. Yeah. Yeah, and it could. It could be your water that you're using, either at home or at the car wash. Yeah. Uh, or it could be like at, at your work, depending what's in the air. Like it well, that's the other thing. The paint and then it gets that's, wet, and then it bakes yep. on there. It could be even oh, yeah. extra of that. Yeah, I don't doubt it's honestly most of the reason why this truck is so dirty is because of the work environment that I'm in, you know. if Even like you guys will probably sit here. And you'll have to hose this felt like wheel well out yeah. for like five it minutes at least. <laughs> yeah. I'm just anxious to see it when it's done. <laughs> I don't even want to watch the process. I just want to be like, boom, and be like, it's done. <laughs> Red's my favorite color. That's why our, our shield's red. Nice. Uh, I like all, it. That's all I've ever had is red vehicles. So you're going to take extra special care of this one, yeah. right? Because it's red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Yeah, once we have it all washed on this side of the bay, we'll take it over on this side. This is more of like a, our dry bay side. Okay. It's nothing, nothing special, but it, uh, it's at least a little bit more dust free. Oh, yeah, you got the lights in here too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Todd just got done buffing this one. It's a 2018. And it, it's buffed, but he still needs to wipe it all off uh, with the prep solvent. Yeah, it a, it's a work truck too. It's oh, a, it's a work it's truck. A, it's a landscape. Yeah. A landscape. Wow. Yeah, it looks good. As soon as we prep your truck, we'll pull it over here and buff it and then put it over here. Yeah, this is really well lit. That's for sure. I guess you need it to be really well lit, but and we, yeah. Yeah, when we buff them, we don't use, this, these lights are just for you. Oh, really? <laughs> what do you we use? Buff, we have just an individual light. Okay. Uh, you don't want a bunch of light shining everywhere. Just even if you had a black room, just a dark room and one, one light shining on the paint where you're working. You can see everything a lot better. Oh Instead yeah. Of, like light everywhere and you can't focus. Like, kind of like how you were using that little light to yeah. look at stuff. Yeah. yeah. That makes that makes sense. Well, I'm definitely excited to see the truck once it's done. I mean, if it looks as good as this, I'm happy. <laughs> Cuz this looks good. No, this is brand new, but it's still even brand it'll new. Look, it'll look brand new from <laughs> brand new from the dealership they come to us scratched up. Yeah, I know. They they do, don't they? Yeah. Like you automatically have to like do a paint correction on a brand new truck. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's crazy. You think the quality control would be a little better for some of these uh, manufacturers, but then again, you're not paying for like a supercar, so right. you know, yep. it is what it is. Alrighty, so 
Just handed the keys over to Chad and the guys at Pristine, and I think it's gonna be looking awesome. Judging by the truck in the other room, the Ford, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see this thing finally get, come back to life and actually look like a brand new truck instead of a truck <laughs> with 80,000 miles, like he said earlier. So um, they're, they're, they actually have a video up right now. Sorry, there's a bug flying around my head. Um, and it's on their channel. It's uh, the whole truck being detailed and cleaned, the basically the first step of the process so you guys can go check that out i'm going to have that link below for you in the description hit the subscribe button for them go give them a follow uh you guys have a face or um uh yeah instagram instagram you guys have instagram yeah, right pristine detail pristine detail uh, facebook yeah google pristine auto detailing will pop up so they're located in southern lancaster county so those of you guys that are in lancaster or the surrounding areas definitely check them out um hit them up on facebook or instagram and go check out their video on youtube and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and have a great day.